these are important to your, you know, employees to make sure that they actually have that work-life balance. Germany, here we come. Guten Tag. <laughs>this is my co-host Sam and today we're going to talk about the work-life balance and I know this might surprise you but Americans are taking fewer vacations they're working longer hours does this surprise you not at all I saw a statistic where it said 38% of American males are working 50 hours a week or more also I see that Americans aren't using their PTO in fact over half of Americans aren't this is paid time off it's crazy you know what I heard about France, I think I need to move because they <laughs> cap their work week at 35 hours a week. Do you see how that would benefit you and your work-life balance? 35 hours a week? You I, work over 50 hours a week. I do. I would love to get more sleep. And France also has about 11 to 13 national holidays. Can you imagine just getting that off, not even touching your PTO? Also, I had a roommate that was from Germany, and I learned, well, I learned a lot of things. Hefeweizen. Not enough German, but I did learn they work 35 hours a week, and they have 24 holidays in a year. Germany, here we come. Guten Tag. <laughs> and Norway also works 35 hours a week, and they were also ranked third best when it comes to work-life balance. Emma, did you know that they actually have 48 weeks of paid paternal leave? That's almost the whole year. Norway, sounds like my kind of way. Babe, we're moving to Norway. Yeah, so here in the States, I know for single moms, they actually still have to work 50 hours a week. You know why that is? Yeah, because there's really no federal mandate that says that you have to have paid sick time. All right, Sam, so what can we learn from all of this? Good question. So as a business owner, it's so important to make sure you have the proper work-life balance. And I can imagine it's hard to not only even balance your life, but even have enough balance for your employees. Yeah, be sure to unplug. Get outside. And as I always promote, eat well-balanced meals, get that exercise in, and that will also help with the work-life balance. Indeed. All right, so one of my favorite tips to give about work-life balance is reach out for support. That is definitely how I handle a stressful day at work is I rely on my friends. You know, go out, have a chat, go for a walk. That's one of my favorite things to do. I'm fortunate to live in sunny San Diego where the weather allows walking every day. <laughs> Thank you, San Diego. So I go out, call up a friend, like, hey, kind of had a rough day. Let's go for a walk. You get in nature, which is another important thing, exercise. This will increase your tolerance to handle stress. Mm -hmm. And also be sure to catch up on those Zs, another way to increase that tolerance for the day-to-day -day activities and stresses and maybe fire alarms that head your way <laughs> in the workforce. And as an entrepreneur, it's important that you do offer your employees paid time off and even bring up the conversation about how important work-life balance is. Even offer them one opportunity per month as able to work remotely. These are important to your you know, employees to make sure that they actually have that work-life balance. Yeah, and if you're looking at your calendar and just looking at it stresses you out, think about what you can do to prevent that. Just say no. You don't need to go to every activity and take on every work task. Just learn to balance it out. Divide and conquer. Yes, and another tip here, don't contact your employees after work hours. That's their time. Respect it, and they'll, of course, respect you. You hear that, boss? That's a wrap. We just compared work-life balance of other countries. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell so you're the first to know about our next video. And comment below and let us know what do you do for your work-life balance. This is The Journey. See you next time.